Hi, fellow nurses and doctors. Um, um, there had been some questions about um, how you deal with the uh, pressure from uh, the mask that we use uh, at work. And um, people are complaining about pains behind their ears and pressure here uh, because of prolonged use of uh, the mask. Um, with this kind, you can adjust it however you want. This uh, takes the pressure off if you tie it like above your head, like so, and this way behind your neck. But when it comes to this other type of um, mask, um, there are some signs that people are suffering from uh, pain behind the ears. Uh, my husband also works in the medical field and they had to wear this um, the whole eight hours on their unit. So he was also complaining, he, he, he thought it was his um, glasses, but it wasn't. It's actually from when he heard from people on um, the internet that they complain about the pressure of um, having to use this uh, for so long. You don't feel the pain for like a short period, but if you have it on your ear, uh, for so long then you feel the pressure and the best way for you to um, to um, Resolve this problem is to either use a tie-dye Just tie-dyes elastic ones that you use on the hair and you could probably Apply one on each side one on each side like so and if you have a smaller head you could probably just tie it and make sure that it stays together. And instead of of it being on your ear, now the pressure of putting the, the mask will be on the back of your head, which you would hardly feel for the whole eight hours. So like so. So it just goes um, in your ear just to keep it in place like so. But there would be no pressure there. Okay, so that hopefully will resolve some of the problems. I see some people even uh, take like a just little piece of fabric and they put two uh, buttons on each side and then they hook the ends of their mask and that also helps. But uh, for a quick cure, if you don't have time to make those, then you can use tie dyes. Very easy to apply, just loop it and uh, tie it in the middle with something, maybe a thread or um, even probably a, a clip would hold it in place. But at least they're elastic. You need that elasticity so that there's room for your head as you bend and move your head so that there's no um, pressure on, on the back of your ear. Also, the other problem that people are having are is uh, with their glasses as you wear your mask of course you create some fog because of our breath um, and uh, I didn't know this problem because I don't wear glasses and unluckily I can only get hold of my daughters when she was with the kid and it's broken but anyway um, and I know that from uh, the seal here it doesn't seal very well so you have that fogging and I learned this from uh, going snorkeling and, and um, uh, going underwater um, in the Philippines that uh, those boys in the boat, they would put uh, um, detergent soap. They would squeeze detergent soaps on your snorkel um, gears and stuff before they hand it to you. And sometimes I didn't like it because they would spit on it. But uh, anyway, whatever works. But I find that the detergent really helps to um, stop the glasses from fogging up. And um, as an example, these um, glasses here, I washed them clear. I've used um, a, a cleanser even to make sure that they're this clean. And these are the problems that you guys are having. And see how long it stays on there. And if your 
constantly breathing of course it would uh, keep getting fogged up and it would not and it's hard for you to work right and since you cannot handle it with your hands and stuff you need something that will help to stop that from um, happening and what I find is like I said detergent may be good but I find that your um, tearless baby shampoo or your mild hand sh um, uh, soap, hand washing soap, um, works very well. So as you can see, you put it on the lens on both sides, it's like so, okay? Like you're cleansing it. And you wipe it very well. You wipe it very well, like so. And I know that when there's a thick residue, it tends to get cloggy anyway, right? So make sure that it's clean, but don't rinse. Don't rinse it. The surfactant on the soap, I think is what we need. Um, because uh, you know how it lifts uh, anything that would settle on uh, your detergent, your, your dishwashing or on our hair. And that's the uh, basic thing that um, that the property that lifts the dirt and whatever on your body and on your dish dishes because of the surfactants and uh, as you can see it's clear enough and you can clean it enough but the difference is is this can you see the difference And it clears pretty fast, okay? So that means that as you breathe, um, it fogs up a little bit, but it would clear um, ASAP because of the contact with the surfactant on the um, on the glass surface, okay? And um, as you can see on this um, sunglasses, it's a mirrored one. And uh, I will show you how my breath affects it now. And you can see how foggy it gets. Oh, I, I'm sorry, because I had put some on this already before. So that's the one that's not treated this is the one that was treated so as you can see um just to shorten the time of uh, the the sample i had uh, i had treated it earlier with the the soap okay and like i said make sure i, I get the, this one because it says baby shampoo and um, wash so you know when it's a baby shampoo they are the mildest kind and they tend not to so because you're going to be wearing it for lengthy periods on your eyes so i think those would be your best uh, um, surfactant that you could use to prevent the fogging and uh, like i said i was going to show how uh, both fogs up at the same time but like i said I had totally forgotten that I had already treated this one um, for the sake of time. Anyway, um, I had a, we applied uh, the baby shampoo, and let me show you again the effect. So I treated it. I don't know how you would see it, but this is my left side, and the one with the name is the right side is untreated. This is treated. So let me show you. That's the untreated side. And that's the treated side. So hopefully um, this could help you with, while you're doing our job, while, doing, while we're doing our jobs as nurses and as frontliners. Uh, luckily I work on a psych floor, but it's getting there too. We're getting admissions from all over we're geared um, like you guys are and um, we're also 
um, getting prepared for the worst. So anyhow, and I'm from Chicago. Our numbers are getting up there. So I know it's all over. Hopefully this will save you some time and this would help you a lot while you fight in the front line. And good luck, guys. Um, let's keep it together. And my prayers are with you. Let's stay healthy and continue the job that we do. And God bless.